So, you all watch Shark Tank, we know that. However, there are a lot of guest stars who have been on the show who are very successful. For example, Ashton Kutcher, famous actor, TV star. We got A-Rod, Hall of Fame baseball player. And then you got Rohan Oza. Not many people know who this Indian dude is. However, he's actually one of the richest people in the world. And behind the secret of many of your favorite brands that you guys are used day to day, let's go over some of these secrets you may not have known about him. And trust me, while reading this document and reading a lot and doing a lot of research about him, I found out a lot of really cool and funny stuff that really makes me want to hang out with this guy. He seems like a very nice person to chill with, and he seems like he definitely knows how the rest of his life is going to go. He has everything planned out. He's a very structured individual. Yo, guys, JT back with the Business Hub. How are you guys doing today? Make sure before the video loads up to leave a like, comment and subscribe also let us know in the comment section down below if you did subscribe that way you could be entered in this month's subscriber giveaway where we shout out one lucky viewer who subscribes comments down below saying they subscribe and turns our post bell notifications on really helps the channel when you guys leave a like for every like you guys leave we're going to be doing and getting closer to a big giveaway separate from the subscriber giveaway so if you like free stuff guys trust me you're not going to want to miss this smack the like button as hard as you can and then let me know in the comment section down below how long it took you to like the video now guys I'm ready to get into today's video the 10 secrets you didn't know about Rohan Oza so our first secret is he considers friend Robert Hervicek his frenemy. Ever wonder what goes on behind the scenes of Shark Tank? It's a little bit like high school Oza reveals. I'll be honest, Mark Cuban's a bully, so you've got to be tough with the bully otherwise he'll ride all over you, and then you become friends with him. Robert Hervicek is for sure my frenemy. He says we get along great, but then he likes to jab at me on the show. And then you have the BFF, and that's Lori Griner is his BFF. She always seems so nice. He says she's always writing notes for me on the set, usually gossiping about others or trying to decide which deals we should go after. So with all this bickering the viewers see at home, is it really genuine? The fighting is real, but then we hug it out after the shoot he shares. Well, that's pretty obvious. And guys, we're going to be doing something about Shark Tank secrets and why it's pretty much not what you think it is. It's a cool show to watch, but there are a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes of the show. Next, we have he throws star-studded dance parties. As a businessman who is constantly on the go, Oza always makes sure to check and schedule a pit stop in Los Angeles to host an epic dance party. Dancing is a big part of my cultural background, he says. The Zambian native loves to throw parties in LA. He says it's very much about the dancing and getting everybody onto the dance floor. One of the best things we do is boys against girls. It's like the movie Bring It On, but to Bollywood music. Oza admits the men typically tend to come out on top, except for when Sofia Vergara once hit the dance floor and shook things up. Everybody followed her, Vergara, he says, and they crushed us. He recalls at one of his best particular bashes. She comes in, throws her right leg in, and then the other 20 women threw their leg in. I knew right there, wherever everybody coordinated that big slam leg movement, the boys are done this time. Why? I mean, I have a lot of questions about how he likes to spend his time, but a dance party? I mean, whatever floats your boat, dude, you're worth billions upon billions of dollars. However, you know, whatever makes you happy, I guess. I guess I'll just leave it at that. Next, we have he credits his failures for success. So, the man behind Vitamin Water and a lot of other popular snaps like Pop Chips, Oza didn't achieve his dreams overnight. In reality, he was actually fired a few times along the way. Everybody thinks that when you have a run to the top, it's very smooth. People are surprised and realize that I got fired from my first job at Mars M&M's, he reveals. They said I wasn't really, you know, what they so call a talented marker. But, According to Oza, that experience in getting fired a couple times, having to fight the win, and then living in your brand is what changed everything for me. Fun fact actually guys, Oza's first job was packing Snickers candy bars into boxes on a manufacturing line in London. He made his way all over to the States, and that's where he credits a lot of his success too. Here we have why he's the Hollywood brand father. Oza's work with celebs like Jennifer Aniston for Smartwater and Timberlake for Buy helped coin his nickname, the Hollywood Brandfather. Remembering those pivotal days of his career, Oza tells E Plus News, the whole game really started with a gentleman called Curtis Jackson, aka 50 Cent. 
He loved the brand. He loved what we were doing with vitamin water and he wanted to create his own flavor. So he and I literally went into the lab to create Formula 50. When he did very well financially, however, suddenly every celebrity was like, oh wow, there's a new way to do deals. It's an equity deal, not just an endorsement, he explains. This is like, you know, every pack for your punch. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit, that type of expression. He got 50 Cent on the work with vitamin water and then it started to blow up and 50 Cent all he really wanted was a little bit of money and his own flavor. I don't blame him for getting him though. At the time back in the day when 50 Cent was the big hip hop star he was, he was worth millions, he was breaking every top 10 chart. Dude was one of the hottest things out on the street since sliced bread. Well, Mr. Oza found and saw that as his chance and he pounced on it. Lastly, we have, and yes, he's single. Oza's brands aren't the only thing that's on the market. He says, I am single. That's kind of odd because he is in his early 40s. However, you know, dude's probably a player, bachelor, you know, whatever you want to call it. But I don't blame him. He's worth millions upon millions of dollars. And, you know, he has the money to exclude, explore and exclude the market away from a lot of other people. He is also a world traveler, having been on at least in it to at least 50 countries. As for his favorite place to escape for some well-deserved R&R, an overwater bungalow in the Maldives or on an African safari. You guys go to Disneyland, we went to go look at animals in the wild, Oza teases. Where do we sign up for that? I want to go on these vacations. This dude is literally living the life, going from country to country, meeting different people, meeting different girls more importantly, and building connections and relationships with other people while having a lot of fun looking at animals, going to amusement parks, going to world famous attractions. I definitely want to be signed up for that lifestyle, at least by the age of 35. So guys, that is all for today's video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does mean a lot when you guys continue to support us. Guys, this is JT here with the Business Hub, signing off, and as always, see you guys later.